In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, may we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord alone. Therefore, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. Take to heart these words which I enjoin you today. Drill them into your children. Speak of them at home and abroad, whether you are busy or at rest. Bind them at your wrist as a sign and let them be as a pendant on your forehead. Write them on the doorposts of your houses and on your gates. When the Lord your God brings you into the land which he swore to your fathers, Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, that he would give you a land with fine, large cities that you did not build, with houses full of goods of all sorts that you did not garner, with cisterns that you did not dig, with vineyards and olive groves that you did not plant. And when, therefore, you eat your fill, take care not to forget the Lord who brought you out of the land of Egypt, that place of slavery. The Lord your God shall you fear, him shall you serve, and by his name shall you swear. The word of the Lord. I love you, Lord, my strength. My God, <clears throat> My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praise be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. <clears throat> the Lord live, and blessed, blessed be my rock, extolled be God my Savior, you who gave great victories to your king and showed kindness to your anointed to David and his posterity forever. Our Savior Jesus Christ has destroyed death and brought life to light through the gospel.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. A man came up to Jesus, knelt down before him, and said, Lord, have pity on my son, who is a lunatic and suffers severely. Often he falls into fire and often into water. I brought him to your disciples, but they could not cure him. Jesus said in reply, O faithless and perverse generation, how long will I be with you? How long will I endure you? Bring the boy here to me. Jesus rebuked him, and the demon came out of him, and from that hour the boy was cured. Then the disciples approached Jesus in private and said, Why could we not drive it out? He said to them, Because of your little faith. Amen, I say to you, If you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. A man came up to Jesus, knelt down before him, and said, Lord, have pity on my son, who is a lunatic and suffers severely. Often he falls into fire and often into water. I brought him to your disciples, but they could not cure him. Perhaps this plea of the man is similar to the prayer of many parents. Many young people may fall into fire, fall into water, in the sense of falling into trouble and into sin. And many parents end up on their knees begging God, for help. Brothers and sisters, this is a good prayer and it's an honest one. Though we do not commonly use the word lunatic today except as a derogatory comment, this word should be understood in this passage as the man acknowledging that his son is suffering from some form of psychological and spiritual illness. In fact, the passage goes on to reveal that Jesus cast out, cast a demon out of him. This demonic spiritual oppression also caused serious psychological issues. The good news about this passage is that the father cared and did not give up on his son. Perhaps it would have been easy for the father to simply disown his son out of anger, hurt, and out of frustration. It would have been easy for him to treat his son as someone who was no good and not worth his continued attention and love. But that's not what happened. The man not only came to Jesus, he also knelt down before Jesus, begging for pity. Pity is another word for compassion and even for mercy. He knew there was hope for his son and that hope resided in the mercy and compassion of Jesus. Brothers and sisters, this passage reveals to us the simple truth that we must pray for one another. We must pray, especially for those who are closest to us and in the greatest need. No one is beyond hope. All is possible through prayer and faith. Brothers and sisters, this passage today is inviting us to reflect upon whether there is someone in our lives whom we have started to give up on. Perhaps we've tried everything and the person continues to turn away from the path toward God. In that case, we can be certain that our calling is to pray for that person. We are called to pray 
not just in a casual and quick way. Rather, we are called to deep and faith-filled prayer for them. Know that Jesus is the answer to all things and can do all things. Let us surrender that person to the mercy of God today, tomorrow, and every day. Let us not give up, but retain hope that God can bring healing and transformation of life. Amen. Please all stand for the prayers of the faithful. When the disciples asked Jesus why they could not drive out one particular spirit, Jesus replied that it was because of their little faith. Let us pray that we may rely on the Lord more than on, an our, more than on our own capacities when we face formidable challenges. In every petition we make, we say, Lord, increase our faith. May the ordained ministers of the church live in intimate and unceasing union with God the Father through His Son, Jesus Christ, in the Holy Spirit, that they may have the strength to combat evil in all its forms. We pray. Lord, increase our faith. May we take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which the Word of God, that we may be able to stand firm against the tactics of the devil. We pray. Lord, increase our faith. When faced with a desperate situation, like what the father of the possessed boy experienced, may we pray to the Lord to increase our faith and trust in Him. We pray. Lord, increase our faith. May the Lord heal those who are possessed by evil spirits and those addicted to illegal drugs, sexual pleasures, and the world's sinful attractions. We pray. Lord, hear us. Through the powerful intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, may we be delivered from the evil spirits that seek the ruin of souls. We pray. Lord, increase our faith. For all the intentions offered in this Mass, and for our personal intentions, we pray. Lord, Almighty Father, hear our supplications, bless us with your grace, and turn our weakness into strength. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. 
fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice Receive, O Lord, we ask, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints and especially as we celebrate the, memo the, mem the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Patricio our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, and the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not for me the judgment of condemnation, but for your love and mercy before me, protection of mind and body and my healing of the enemy. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life.
For those who are joining our live stream celebration, let us now pray the spiritual communion prayer. O oh my Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the blessed sacrament. I love you and I desire you to come into my heart. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you, O oh, never leave me. May the burning and most sweet power of your love consume me, that I may die for you who died for love of me. Amen. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech you, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. The Mass has been offered. Amen.